Make your whole family mourn as when we're done with you, they're gonna have to pick your ass up at the corners. Me and my crew will hit you with that right left. Leave you cute this year, cause we're ruthless, yeah, that's some true shit. You don't wanna mess with cheddar in this country that you catch in the ambulance here. Food stands, leave your clothes, buddy, and damn, then we're scooping up your trance. Five away, where I'm from. Five away is where I'm from. Five away is where I'm from. See, I'm repping that medicine place media. My pretty studio likes the way I flow, like an encyclopedia. Black cats are on me like bad bacteria. That they can drink it for me, dusty feet, lush cafeteria. Central Mass is where I reside, where you can't run and hide. I can verify that we're safe, why leave you horrified because you're unqualified. I'm just glad I survived time for me to put it in the overdrive Leaving these cats petrified, hitting you with the right hook right in the hard drive Taking these chunks, taking those dots, taking their girl and the whip on a test drive You know she... We live, we live, we live All right, what's up, Turtle Riders? How are we all doing out there tonight? How's the crowd looking? Um, let's see. Okay. All right. People are streaming in. That's good. All right. So I've gone ahead guys as usual. And I've shared this link on the Clarence Woods Emerson page, as well as the turtle boy sports forever page. Sorry, we're running a little late tonight, but we, we got it. Didn't we, uh, go ahead. And if you would uh, give those a share for me, that'd be great. Um, I'm also, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tweet this baby out. Is this even fucking, are we live? Watch this. I'm on Twitter now. So if you're on Twitter, it's been like over a week now. Yeah. Yeah. See, it's been over a week on Twitter now. That's a new record. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to tweet this out. Uh, and also during the show, we can uh, have people call in. Uh, if you're interested, We can. I can put the link in the comments uh, so you can have people call in. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, so welcome, guys. Uh, how we like to start every episode is with a little thing called Roll Call. So let us know in the comments where you're repping tonight, where you watching the show from. All right. Let us know in the comments how diverse our audience is. All right. We got Blackstone is in the house. I do need a blue check mark. You're right about that, Laura. I'm working on it. Tucson Turtles in the house. Let's just focus on staying on though for now. Um, Stoneham's in the house. Dover, Delaware. The fan club from Dover, Delaware. Okay. Excellent. Skituit. West Roxbury, West Bridgewater, Woonsocket, Burlington, Vermont, Chicopee, New Bedford, Charlton, Pottenham, Westminster, Long Island, Brockton, South Hadley, Jefferson, G-Town Kid. Is that Georgetown? Is that what G-Town is? I don't know. Salem, Yarmouth Port, Charlotte, North Carolina, Blackstone, Massachusetts, Alpine, Texas. Uh, London is in the house. Wakefield's into the house. Nashua, Connecticut, Attleboro, Chicago, Club Whitman, Randolph, your Jeep, excellent. Carlisle, Ports, Salem, Brockton by the Sea. Which one is that? Barnstable? I think you were in Falmouth, Karen. Um, Walpole's in the house. Union County, New Jersey. Denver, Colorado. Rumford, Maine. Hubbardston. Bill Ricker. Worcester. Jefferson. Southern Connecticut. Totten. Portsmouth. Putnam. Lowell. Lake Titicaca. You just wanted me to say that, didn't you, Essel? Auburn's in the house. Another Auburn's in the house. Manchester, New Hampshire, Old Portland, Maine, Fall River, Nantucket, East Bridgewater, Southbridge, Grafton Kid, excellent, Lynn, Southbridge, Germantown, my basement, Everett, Methuen, you name it, Suffield, Connecticut, Albuquerque, Rumford, okay, Plymouth, so if I missed you, I missed you, Phoenix is in the house, I don't want to miss anyone, oh, Hyannis, well, that's part of Boston, um, all right, guys, so um, just to remind you guys, uh, we, I, I do have a freestyle plan tonight, it's a good one, Western Mass Turtle Girl, I already heard it, was it good? Yeah, it was good. We'll, was we'll see good. how it goes later. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I always refresh. So I always practice beforehand. And she actually, I didn't realize in this, if you're backstage, you can see me practicing. So she actually heard it. That was accidental. Um, but it's to the Beastie Boys. You're going to like it. Um, I'm also going to go ahead right now and share the fundraiser link right in the comments. So if you guys, uh, if we can raise $150 in the super whatever super chat we're not monetized on facebook anymore i applied and got rejected i don't even give a shit i don't want it back anyway i like it more with paypal uh so 
The link is in there. If we can raise one hundred fifty dollars, I'm gonna do a freestyle. Period. So hook it up. Uh, also, if you leave a funny message with the uh, with your donation, I'll read whatever the hell you write. I don't care how nasty or dirty it is. I'll read it on the air. Who cares? Uh, so definitely, let's have a good time tonight. Uh, let's make it happen. Uh, we got a lot of good things on the agenda to talk about, uh, including some new stuff that I haven't got into yet. Um, yeah. All right. So you guys ready? Um, oh yeah. So um, let me go ahead and I'm going to give the invite. If you guys want to call in, I'm not going to take calls yet, but later on, there's a link for it right there. I've just posted it for you. All right. So what do we got up first? Let's talk about, um, huh. why don't we start with this Malden city council story? I thought this one was kind of funny. That's the one that passed out while during the school. Oh no, that's, no, that's one. Franzia, Francine or whatever her name was. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. All right. So let me pull this one up. Share screen. All right. This one. This chick wasn't even that bad, but people got mad about this one. Some things have changed with this story. So this blunt I wrote yesterday. Uh, and it's so this Malden City Councilor, her name is what the hell is her name? She's got a hyphenated last name, which should automatically disqualify her. J.D. Ann Sika Birnbaum. Do we have any Malden Turtle Riders in the house tonight? Uh, if you are, the new the new FUPA free computer is fantastic over there. I fucking love it. Um, and so this Malden City Counselor, uh, uh, she's got this whole um, – where, where is she at here? Uh, so this is what she writes. This is hard for me to say, but let me get out of the way. I am guilty. Yep, I said it. I'm guilty. Let me explain. Like so many parents, I've struggled greatly with the impact that this pandemic has had on my kids. With a high school senior who just turned 21 years old, daughter, it has been difficult to watch them have to forget typical celebrations for important milestones. I know I'm not alone. Kids are social creatures. And the impact that isolation has has had on their mental health is real. Many of you know I've worked tirelessly on things like parades, recognition for our nurses, and signs for graduating seniors to bring some normalcy to not just my kid, but to all Maldonians, as many as I can. Wednesday night, I thought I'd try something different to recognize my daughter's 21st birthday. We had a little parade, mostly my family, some friends. So since my street is small, we met up the back parking lot of Mix 360 with permission of the owner. We were there for maybe 30 minutes or so. We had no intention of being there longer than an hour. Yes, I had a DJ. He's a family friend. Were there some people there closer than six feet together? Sure. People mostly live together, most likely. I won't proclaim it was the most perfect execution of the social distancing guidelines, but I was surprised when someone called the police who responded and just reminded us of the importance of observing such measures. I was even more surprised someone called Fox News and Channel 7. Apparently, they're going to run with some big news story today. Certainly, it was my intent to send a bad message. I take this pandemic seriously. And like all of you, I can't wait for us to be past it. But first and foremost, I'm a mother. A mother who's trying her best to be the right balance during a difficult time. I got it wrong. I'll own it. Like anyone with kids, I'll move mountains for them. And I was simply trying to find some normalcy for my 21-year-old. So JD and Sika, the mother, is going to try to keep to be the best mother she can be and do so respecting the role we all play in being down this awful virus. JD and Sika, the city councilor, apologizes if that sent a bad message. I'm proud as hell. It's how we've rallied as a community in this difficult time. My thoughts and prayers are those who have lost a loved one. While it's disappointing to see someone motivated to embarrass me over this, I guess if I can end my political career with this being the worst someone could say about me, I've probably done okay. All right, what are your thoughts on this Western Mass Turtle Girl? I could have made that a lot shorter and just been like, dear everyone, fuck you. Happy birthday, my daughter. Good night. But she had to go on and on and on and on and on. And <laughs> yeah. probably, you know, within the first couple of sentences, probably half of everybody stopped listening anyway. But yeah, and it did no good ultimately. So I would be with on this woman's team if she was like, you know, somebody like, I don't know, are there any politicians out there that have been like against the lockdown? Can you like Dan Crenshaw? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I can't think of anybody. I mean, uh it's it's hard to weed anything out anymore at this point. But at this, yeah. if she's gonna do some shit like this, she better own it. Yes. And if she's gonna go back on it, then now you're just standing in the middle and no one's on your side. 
Yes. Oh, yeah. Mark Lombardo has. Okay. So we had a guy. That's true. He, he's come out, and a few others have as well. But if you're gonna be, if you're the person that's just like, like I would do something like this. I'd have a party. But I do, yeah. I do kind of love how she tried to pretend like, oh, it's just no big deal. There's just some friends, and oh yeah, a DJ, a fucking right. DJ. Oh, we're just gonna be, we're just gonna be there for an hour. What kind of DJ shows up to a parking lot for an hour? <laughs> like, right. What? That's where she kind of dropped the ball. She should have yeah. just left that out. She should have been like, somebody had an iPhone with some Pandora on it. And, yeah. You know, but she's like, we had a DJ. There, yeah, it was a bartender, but he was a friend. And uh, yeah, and like, oh, had- the people who were within six feet of each other were all family members, right? So like different groups of people didn't interact with each other. You just stayed with your social circles. I don't believe any of that, okay? And so this ends up making the news. And as it turns out, she <laughs> there was 50 people there. <laughs> there was goddamn 50 people there. So there wasn't like some small get together. It was an actual fucking party and more power to her. However, I did find out later that this chick has posted on her like business page on April 7th uh, about like, you know, oh my God, you guys, we really need to practice social distancing. Everybody needs to stop going out and this and that. And then she goes and fucking does it. And you know what? Here's the thing about this Western Master Girl. I feel like this is all just human nature. Like humans were not meant to be fucking caged. We can say, yeah, yeah, go stay inside, whatever. But people are going to go out, right? This is all for show. Uh, these people specifically are just doing it for show. They're doing it so that they can say, look, I have my mask on. I'm doing the right thing. And then they're like, but if I can get away with it, I'll have a party also. So they don't believe it. They're just doing it so that people outwardly think that they're doing the right thing, but they don't actually believe what they're doing. That's exactly what it is. And, uh, I, you know, I, I even went to the post office today and I'm in there. I didn't wear my mask. I, I, I refused. Unless you're going to make me wear it, I'm not wearing it. So I, I didn't wear my mask inside the post office. And, you know, I'm, I was there for a bit because I had to send out some packages and people kept coming in and I, I would see them sometimes come. They'd have they put the mask on outside and I could tell, you know, they're really not that into it either. And a lot of them are older too, like the, the people who should be at risk and concerned and they don't want to fucking do it. And they're in there. And guess what? I thought I'd get a bunch of Karens like grilling me saying things. People said hello and shit. Like nobody gave a shit. Like even the guy behind the counter who was working there, he had his mask like on his fucking neck and shit. And he's just like, when, when another woman came in with a mask on, he's like, I guess I'll put this on. I don't know why. It's like, we all know it's bullshit in our heart of hearts. We all know it's bullshit. Right. Yeah. But and the post office is the first one that started wearing the masks. That's why they're the first ones that are sick of fucking wearing them because yeah. they've been wearing them since like day fucking one. I yeah. went in there and I was like, I've, this is the scariest place I've seen. That was way at the beginning. And the lady was like, yeah, I know. And this is like what we have to do every fucking day. And I'm like, okay, yeah. well, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's so stupid. There was, I saw a post today from a place in Northbridge. And the God bless, I'm probably going to do a blog on this someplace called the Cove. He had enough, like he, it's, it's hot. They, they all wear a freaking mask. And I guess they've been getting crap for it because they haven't been wearing their masks sometimes like to go like they're, they're working with a freaking grill in a small enclosed area and they're sweating. It's like human beings were not meant to wear masks all the time. It's an unreasonable request. I mean, do you wear them? I mean, you've obviously must've worn it at some point, right? So, yeah, I had masks fucking made because I didn't want to f- go on a scavenger hunt for them. But I have them. I wear them. But I do it so I don't have to deal with bullshit. That is the only, literally the only reason why I do it. Yes. Otherwise, I'd be walking around breathing fresh air like I want to be doing. But I do it so I don't have to deal with somebody going, where's your mask? Mm-hmm. Why are you standing in line? Why are you t- you're too close to me? You're breathing on me. You're looking at me. Like, I, I, I don't want to deal with that. That's mm-hmm. the only single reason why I wear a mask. Yeah, that's, that's all it is. And it's just like, cause they're, cause you're making me and cause I have no choice. I don't really feel like it helps at all. It didn't magically. I mean, you see, even Charlie Baker, you saw it during the mass state police graduation. Like he didn't have one on cause he knows it's fucking pointless. Like it's all just about like, Oh, are people looking at the white house? There was a white house press conference yesterday and reporters, you know, in the front row, they all have their masks on and then the press conference ends and Kaylee, whatever her name is, she walks away. And the cameras are still rolling. And you see all the fucking reporters, they just take them off. It's like nobody believes. They're just doing it so they can virtue signal. It's all bullshit. So anyway, uh, I'd like to thank, by the way, uh, Rich Bridges uh, has donated. Uh, He says, let's get that freestyle rolling. It drives me mad. I can't post turtle emojis in my donation message. So maybe we do need to bring it back to uh, Super Chat. 
So thank you, Rich. Uh, also, uh, yeah, that's that's where we're at right now. So we got Rich. So we're $20 closer to 150 guys. All right. Anyway, um, let's talk about the next topic on the agenda. So that was that one. I, I actually literally had somebody message me today. I, let me just read this message because this message, I didn't want to blow this woman up, but I was so pissed about it. It was about that same story. And I couldn't believe this fucking woman wrote this to me. Like, I, I'm like, are you fucking serious right now? Let me see if I can find it. Uh, she actually wrote to me. Where'd it go? She had, uh, oh, by the way, here's what uh, J.D. Ann Sika Malden posted on April 7th. She goes, um, as of last night, Malden has 75 confirmed cases of COVID, blah, blah, blah. Over the next couple of weeks to ensure health and safety of all our residents, we ask that you, first bullet point, avoid gatherings of any size for any reason. So she's a fucking hypocrite. And by the way, all the people in the comments, you know, it's, it's bullshit, by the way, when all the people in the comments who are defending her, you go to their page and what do you see? Stay home, save lives. Cause they don't fucking, they know it. Like, it's like, yeah, they feel comfortable yelling at somebody else. But like, once it's one of their friends, they're like, oh, who cares? Cause they know it fucking doesn't matter. You know what I mean? But right. Anyway, let's talk about the next one. I want to talk about this bakery Becky chick. So this one happens out of um, Worcester, and she got a place in, in Boston, too. Um, her name, her real name is, I think, Jennifer Lee or something like that. Jennifer LaSala. And it's, she's got, she runs this place called Jennifer Lee's Bakery, which has locations in Worcester and uh, Boston Public Market. And it's like some type of uh, allergen-free bakery. So obviously, the kind of parents that are going to come in there... They're going to be the kind of parents that I'm sure that like a lot of your kids, right? They, they have allergies and you want them not to have it. And some of them are serious, but I'm sure there's going to be some people in there who are just a pain in the ass. No, I, I don't even know what allergen free means. How do you know what people are allergic to in order to make it? Um, that doesn't even make sense to me, but okay. That's a great question. I don't even know the answer to that. Yeah. That's a good question. Like, so they have stuff pre-made. But what if you're allergic to the stuff that's inside of it? Right. <laughs> like there's a there's a menu behind her that says, you know, all this stuff. But how do you know I'm not allergic to buffalo chicken or whatever it is on her yeah. menu there? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Made herb bread, buffalo jack, house made phyllo chick, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So she's allowed to open during this whole time because it's not a sit down place. It's a takeout. You know, it would shut her down real quick, though, if somebody got allergic to something on her menu and broke out in hives or something. Yes, that would, well, it would kind of ruin her old business plan. Like, yeah, you know, I got an allergic outbreak at the allergy-free freaking bakery, you know? <laughs> uh, so here she is, um, and this is what she makes the news over. So she posted this um, on May 4th. She goes, it saddens me to say this, but this might be it for our bakery. I've worked so hard for almost 10 years with this bakery, and unfortunately, I don't know if I want to do it anymore. I work so hard to make everybody happy. It just doesn't matter. I work so hard to have a safe place for people that others in the restaurant industry just ignore. The amount of mean messages I received over this weekend is just too much, and I just don't know if I want to do this anymore. I think people don't realize that I too am human. I worked so hard to build what we have. My my working multiple jobs to afford it, not paying myself still. Even now in a pandemic, I haven't received even a cent in any grant money. But here I am still going, still trying to keep this dream alive. And people are just so mean, and just ripping me apart. I try so hard to be as transparent as possible and let everyone know how to order deadlines, etc. So there's no mistakes. And if it's just not good enough, I work 20 hours days and it's not good enough. We still have Mother's Day orders this weekend. But after that, I don't know. I don't know if I want this for the rest of my life. I'm sorry. Jennifer Lee. So what do you think about that post? Uh, <laughs> sounds like a fucking diary entry. It oh should have been God. kept in her diary. <laughs> yeah, it's like on the business page too. Of all things, you're like, like why are why are you telling me about your problem? Like this is a bit, why aren't you posting about cupcakes and shit? Dear Facebook, I had a really hard day at work. 
I know. It's like, Somebody oh my God. Somebody was mean to me. This is literally just bait for sympathy. You only put something like this out there if you expect to be flooded with comments from people saying, oh no, don't quit girlfriend. You try, you don't listen to the haters. That's all this People is. that really close their businesses, they just go, we regret to inform you, we have to close. We're not gonna talk about it. And then yeah. they end it. Yeah. They don't put a whole big, go this is like those people from the Facebook pages that go, okay, everyone, I've had enough of all of you, I'm leaving, bye. Yeah, exactly. Except it's not even, at least those bitches leave. This is just like, <laughs> You didn't, even go out, <laughs> you didn't even go out of business. Like you're still here. You're still like, what? I thought you quit. Like, why are you still here? You know? Um, so, <laughs> you know, this, and here's the thing about this, uh, is that for you, you, you signed up to be in the service industry. You signed up to open a freaking bakery. You know, you're going to deal with assholes. I'm sorry. Like people shouldn't act like assholes, obviously. And I'd be proud to shame people who do. But at the same time, like you signed up for this. There was a, there was another story I didn't get to out of the Cape this week. I think it was out of the Cape. There was some, somebody who had an ice cream shop and they opened up and then the, the owner was like so mad. He went on TV. He's like, oh, the customers are being so rude, this and that. And one of my servers was, you know, treated so poorly and she wanted to quit because of it. And they raised $40,000 with a four, with a GoFundMe, 40 grand. Uh, over yeah. fucking mean words like what we're donating to people who had their feelings hurt now you kidding me this is gonna start happening a lot too you're gonna see this a lot more because what's gonna happen is once we do open up they're gonna put so many restrictions on businesses that they're not gonna be able to operate at full capacity and they're gonna have a lot of pissed off customers are gonna have pissed off employees the ones that are back at work and the ones that they can't bring back are gonna be sitting at home collecting unemployment happily I and know it's yeah, going to become a big, huge mess. And this is going to be, uh, this is going to be probably a lot of, a lot of your stories coming up because they aren't going to be able to make customers happy with half of their employees there, half of their ability to actually operate. Well, the, the wearing masks all day, you know, it's, yeah. it's going to be a mess. Some of these restaurants aren't even, I mean, Rhode Island, you know, I feel like you have to like give a blood sample to sit down and eat a meal and stuff like that. And the restaurants can only be at like 25% capacity. It's like almost pointless to even open them up. But eventually people will get sick of this and we'll phase back into it. Like the real states like Georgia and Florida and Texas, the fun states. That, yeah, like, we don't live there though. <laughs> I know. It's a goddamn shame. You know, that be, you've been, you, didn't you used to live down south? Yeah, I lived, in, I lived in Florida and I'd be happy to be there right now. I never wanted to go back until now. I know. I know. I, I got, if I didn't have like family and you know, my life here and shit like that, if I could just pop up and go like, I go to these States and I've never, cause I never really wanted to leave. But now it's like for the first time, like our rights are fucking like restricted. Like my mother just booked a freaking appointment to get her haircut in Nashua. Like she hit the bucket. Like she's going to goddamn New Hampshire to get a goddamn haircut. And I'm like, and I'm telling, I'm like, if you owned a freaking barbershop in Methuen or one of these border towns, and you're like, you're losing all this business. It's like Matt, people in Massachusetts are going to get their haircut somewhere. They're going to go get their haircut, yep. but they can't get it in Massachusetts. What? How, they're still going to fucking get it. So what's the point? What is the point of anything? They don't like, they don't like questions, team lockdown. They don't like logic. They don't like, you know, asking questions. I would even ask like in the world of essential fucking shit, I'm sorry. Is the, is the gluten free cupcake? Is that, that's essential. Oh yeah, it's essential because it's food. Oh, so just because it's that's how they get away with it. Shouldn't it be fucking like bread and water? Like that's essential. Like just that's all you get. That's all you can serve. Bread and water. Or if you're a fucking bakery, start making like uh, meals for people instead of goddamn cupcakes and gluten free donuts and shit. Yeah. Well, what shouldn't every business do that? Like if I owned a barbershop, like I'm making fucking hot pockets in the microwave. Five dollars yeah. each, you know. Come Whatever in. you are allowed to do at this point that makes you essential, just fucking do it because that's the only thing you're going to be able to make money with now. Unbelievable, unfucking believable. But I mean, and try think this is a little bit off topic, but kind of related is people that are business owners like myself have can't hire anybody. Nobody wants to fucking work. I that's a great point. And they're Why? talking about like extending unemployment and shit. And I'm like, okay, so <laughs> I'll have 
tons of business and nobody to fucking work for me. That's ex- you're absolutely fucking right about that. Because why would they? I mean, you're most people out there are making more now on unemployment than they are working. So why the fuck would you go back to your job? I mean, AOC is even saying that. Like, don't go back. If she's saying that, that's a bad. You know what I mean? Uh, it's a bad idea because everything she says is terrible. But it's like. Why would you, if you're making, you know, a thousand dollars a week, but after taxes, like, why would you go back to your job working, you know, for $20 an hour somewhere and you're taking home, I don't know, six, $700 a week. You're, why would you do that? So all these places, did you Somerville, Massachusetts? Yes, sir. Somerville literally shut down through the end of the year. That means there's no fucking Santa in Somerville this year. Like they've already canceled Christmas. They've canceled New Year's and it's like unbelievable. And I I hate to give your turtle. I don't know if there's any Somerville turtle riders. I got news for you. Your kids aren't going back to school in September. You're not, it's not going to happen. It's done. You're not going back. Like you're fucked for the whole year. Like for the first time, the policies are making me like want to move. I've never been one of those guys before. Like, but like how much fucking longer can we live in a state where there's fucking nothing like in this, when there's other options out there, there's fucking fun states you can go to, and we're stuck in the sucky sleep. It on. sucks to say it out loud, but for real, I don't want to move anywhere. I want to get a gun, and I, I want to start too. stocking up on that shit because this is exactly what the Constitution was written for. This exact situation, and people yes. don't get it. Yes, I mean it, it, they don't get it, and because well, unless there's a virus, then the Constitution no longer counts. People were protesting at Baker's house today. Did you see this? No. They went to his house in Swamp Sky, I think, but it was the morons. Like it was the idiots who ran the straight pride parade, like John Hugo. Oh, and, yeah, you know, I don't really yeah. remember those guys. When those guys get involved, it turns into a fucking joke. And so, so they're literally protesting outside of his house. Ugh, you know, it's like when it's the same fucking 50 people, it just makes the whole fucking movement look bad. But mm-hmm. anyway. All right. So that's bakery Becky. Oh, and by the way, so she did shock her a week later. She came back. She did come back and she goes, um, seven days ago, I was sitting in my room, sobbing on the floor, writing my post about closing the shop. I was beyond exhausted physically, mentally, and emotionally. I was broken and felt like a failure. Almost 10 years of grinding to make Jennifer's leaves with this day felt like a waste. Time and energy. I could have spent doing something else. After my post, I took the time trying to figure out I was overwhelmed with the amount of love from the hundreds of messages I received, I was approached by WBZ for an interview. I figured only a few people outside my customers would hear it. Then it went national, and I started to get even more love and support, and not only by people who were so upset that I, what had happened, but by business owners from coast to coast who were dealing with increasing abusive and hard customers. Being a business owner is a roller coaster of emotions. You can literally have a customer come in and trust your products, and then have the next customer praise you, and the same item that, that person hated. You work all day, every day, and there's really no off days. The only time I really get off is the two weeks a year i can go on a vacation but even then i answer emails and calls from my employees i'm very unhappy with the bakery i was i am unhappy with the bakery and i know that it's mostly because i'm still doing i'm still doing so much and i have too much on my plate because we've been constantly growing since 2016. I outgrew both stalls at boston public market within months and i've already outgrown worcester public market in the first two weeks okay so that's all i need to hear right there Bitch, you're thriving. Like you're sitting here bragging about all the business you're making. Meanwhile, if you go down to Kelly Square where this chick's located, most of the businesses there, the restaurants are getting fucked. They can't open. There's a lot of bars over there. They're just literally losing everything. And she's sitting there. I didn't even apply for a grant. Bitch, why should you? Why would you apply for a grant? You, you're you open and running. You're thriving. You have so much business. Like if you owned a bar, the guy who wants to buy, he probably wishes customers would be rude to him. Like, oh man, I, I miss fucking assholes. Where the hell did they go? Those, those guys were great. At least they paid me money. Anyway, I, I, are you with me on this one? This uh, Yes. And yeah. I think after reading diary entry number two, it just becomes more abundantly clear that she's like, it's she's in a loophole of people that are actually benefiting from everything right now. So yeah. fuck you. Yeah. And that's, and one more thing I wanted to say about that point you made, right. Uh, about unemployment, like they're going to keep Somerville extends, you know, to the end of the year, they're going to shut down. Right. Yeah. Do you think they would do that if Congress all of a sudden was like, well, unemployment's ending July 31st. 
Um, I don't think, I, I actually think they're going to extend unemployment and yeah, it, 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 it's going to further fuck everything up. So that's what, like, I feel like that if, if Congress or whatever, or whoever, I don't even know who's in charge of it, the state house. I don't know if they just came out and said, you can do whatever you want, Somerville. I don't give a fuck. If you want to shut down your city, shut down your city. The unemployment ends July 31st. So it's fucking up to you. you know what I mean? Then they'd have no choice. But of course, they're only doing it because they know they're going to be bailed out. Yeah, so, exactly. And that's the, it's, it's, it's sickening. I don't even know. I don't have another word for it at this exactly. point. It's just sick. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about uh, the next thing up. Um, this guy out in Brooklyn, this fucking asshole. So, um, WGBH, you all pay taxes for this. It's like our local NPR station. Uh, they are a bunch of condescending assholes who get paid by you a lot of good money, by the way. Jim Browdy from WGBH makes like 350 grand a year, I was told. That's like insane. Emily Rooney, all these hacks on there. And nobody watches the shows. Like, have you ever watched WGBH before? I don't even think I've heard of it. Yeah, exactly. Like, I've never... Like, does anybody out there watch goddamn WGBH? These are just a bunch of douchebags who feel like they're self-important and they get paid a lot of money from your tax dollars to talk to themselves in NPR voice, you know? So, um... I guess I'll read this guy's complaint in our NPR boys. This guy's name is Henry Santoro. He's a WGBH radio personality. He lives in South Brookline near West Roxbury. And South Ro uh, Brookline ain't cheap to live in. So I assume this guy's making decent money. And he is a, a realtor of sorts now. Uh, there's this whole bio right there. Blah, blah, blah. And he's got the whole Facebook bio of stay home, save lives. Hashtag quarantine. Oh, God. He lives across the street from the West Roxbury line with Boston. And in Boston, well, in all places, masks are now required out in public. So he writes this. Uh, I guess I'll read this in NPR voice. He takes a picture of a parent and a three and a five-year-old out for a walk. And he says, do you know this family? No masks in South Brookline at approximately 6.30 p.m. on 5-11-2020. This guy and this family showed up across the street from my house, not wearing masks. It's the corner of Payson and West Roxbury Parkway. I hollered to them from across the street and got no response. I hollered louder and asked where the other masks are. That's Boston, so masks are mandatory. All I got was a casual smile and a fleeting look. Do you know this family and guy? Are you this family and guy? If so, please know you're being watched. As a matter of fact, you're there standing directly under a neighborhood watch sign. And this neighborhood is watching. <laughs> I fucking <laughs> God. Oh, my God. I just need to know, did he say the you're there thing to be politically correct? <laughs> was he I just like... <laughs> uh, no, I think what he was getting at was there, like, in case... Uh, as a matter of fact, you're standing direct... So it could be like, are you the villain? Are you the criminal out there? Because if he's speaking to them, uh, it would be okay. your... Like the person, that, the person that is reading this, it might be that guy or right. that guy's family. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. And if you are that guy, he just wants you to know he's watching you. Okay? Just understand that. You, you thought you could get away with taking your two kids out for a walk without a mask on. But little did you know, this is a legitimate quote, please know... You're being watched. And, and imagine three months ago, somebody like say a, a grown man posting that about two parents and their little children that you're being watched. And then that's normal. Like what? How? This is the highlight of his life. Yes. Because he probably already does this. You know what I mean? He strikes me as like a single guy, lives alone, probably stares out his window a lot anyway. So this mm -hmm. is like, okay now. And he's like, yes, I yes. can post this now. I can yeah. say shit about this. Yes. I mean, it's, it, 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 that's all it is. And it's like, usually this is a female thing with the Karens, but as we've seen, there are male Karens. Do we have a name for male Karens yet? Chad. They're Chads. I feel like yep. that's taken already. A Chad's like a 
totally. uh, that's what I call people that are like, actually a lot of them are from Boston. They walk around, they have like, uh, I guess they're not really Karens though. They're yeah, more just I mean, like Ch- Chad tool is like, bags. Yeah, just two, just like whatever. We we should call them Karen's. Oh, too. somebody said Kyle. I kind of like that one. Oh, Kyle's that a good sense. one. Kyle. I like Scott's. I like Scott. Yeah, it could be good. We'll have to come up with a good one. We'll have to come up with a good one. But uh, because Kyle goes with Karen, I guess, so that makes sense. Um, but anyway, um, so this whole thing of him going outside, he has now taken down all of his social media, by the way. Because that's how you know that they regret doing it. Like if they're he knows he done fucked up at this point. Cause that's fucking weird, man. I'm sorry. This is like, it's one thing if you're like posting pictures of like, you know, some asshole or just some guy doing it. Right. And you're like, but these are little fucking kids trying to enjoy their like livelihoods, you know, stuff, stuff like that. And let me segue that into another one, by the way, let me segue that into um, this one. I haven't written and I've, I've shown you these two. Um, this is an actual post from a mommy's group. I don't know how many of you out there are in mommy's groups, but they are, as you can imagine, the worst place to be on the internet right now. So this uh, woman posts in a Western Mass Moms Connect group that will probably get judged on this, but it's just a question. Is anyone willing, is anyone allowing their kids to play with their friends? If you don't want to post here, message me. Just curious if the general consensus, okay? The, the fact that you have to preface that with like, I'd probably get judged on this means like you're going to get judged. Like it's fucking scary. Right. She already uh, knew it was coming. So let me ask people in the comments this question, right? For people who have your own crotch roots, are you letting them hang out with other kids? I'm generally curious about it because as far as mine are concerned, like we have, we they played with their cousin first, right? And then they play with their second cousin, All right? So my, co- my my wife's cousin's kids, we played with them too. So now we're testing the boundaries of who we can play with without dying. So all the people, look at you freedom lovers. Yes, 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 yes. Man, we got the best followers. Yes, yes, yes. I totally would if I had kids. Yes. Um, I don't have kids, but I, I would if I let them hang out. Yes, yes. Everybody's saying yes. That's awesome. Good for you people. It's fucking awesome, man. Uh, I love hearing that. That's a great sign. People are rebelling. You let, I mean, that's a, and guess what? You should. There's, there's, cause there's no risk in it. Kids don't die of the commie cold. They just don't. And don't give me this bullshit about, oh, that's not true, turtle boy. There's a, there's a, there's a girl in, in Detroit and both of her parents are essential workers and she died of complications of COVID 19. Uh, no, I, of course you can find a fucking anecdote here or there, right? Of course you can find an outlier in this state. Literally not one kid zero to 19 has died. Not one zero. Okay. It doesn't happen. So stop it. If you have to find an anecdote in Detroit, then you have no argument. You're weak. Okay. Um, go ahead. There, I was going to say there's, there's a domino effect to what's happening right now. And this is part of it. And in, in, in what you talked about before with the abuse that's going on running rampant right now, domestic and child abuse, like it's all, it's a domino effect and it's all happening before our eyes and everybody's just like ignoring it because they think their grandma's going to die. And it doesn't make any fucking sense to me. This pisses me off a lot. I don't even, I don't even have kids. I'm not a mother, but these Kids need social interaction. If they're yeah. sitting at home all day in a in a dark room or playing video games and doing Zoom shit, they, it's it's almost like they're living virtually. It's crazy. Yes, it is. It's not freaking healthy. I mean, the idea that this would be good and nobody thought about the kids. Dr. Fauci, you know, he gets up there and he rants and he talks about this. You think he's ever once thought about fucking the effect this has on kids? No, of course not. What's his fucking problem? What do you think of that guy? That kid, he's got an ulterior motive. There, there's mm-hmm. so many things around about him, and you don't even know what to believe anymore. But he's definitely not in it for what he's, what everybody thinks he's in it for, which is to help everybody. He's a nice. I mean, he seems like a nice guy. He's all right, but I think that it's he's not. It, He's not thinking about it from an economical standpoint. He's oh looking God! At oh, it no, God just no, from no, a no, you no, know. No. Yeah. So it's I mean, not working. Like, I don't think he's like some liberal plan or anything like that. 
I just think it's like, no, it may not be a, comp- a conspiracy theory or anything yeah. like that, but it, he's definitely not thinking about the other effects that all of this, what is, no. what is the, you know, what's the more important thing and how is this, what we're doing right now going to affect the big picture? He's not looking at right. it like that. And he's not even considering like other ideas about like, cause his ideas have failed. Like the lockdown has killed people. Like it's not working clearly, obviously. Yeah. And the That's second the every part. state opens up, we're told there's going to be a huge spike. Never happens. It, it hasn't happened yet. It hasn't happened in Georgia. hasn't happened in Florida. It, the opposite happens. Like, we're not – It just fucking open up. Nothing's going to happen. People are going to die either way. I hate to – people are going to die. They're dying anyway. We cannot contain a fucking virus. That's not how the world works. It's going to fucking spread, right? But peop, it doesn't – it's not a virus – any like I am willing if anybody turtle riders out there, does anybody have COVID-19 in the comments right now? If you do, I will volunteer as tribute to have you come on the live show and talk on me. I want it. I want to get that show. I really, I re- cause I talk a lot, right? People are like, Oh, you talk a big game that you're not scared of commie cold. You're not scared of coronavirus. You need to back it up. And you know what? They're right. I do need to back it up. So I, if anybody out there has it, because I can't just go and sign up for it or go and get it, you know. How do you know you don't have it? I might. I very well might. Why don't you just get a test? I could get a test. Yeah, I could get a test. But what happens if it comes back and I don't have it? So, you no, know, no, no. Here, here's a good way to do it. Walk around without a mask for the next two weeks. Get a test. Come back on the show. Be like, here you go. I've been walking around without a fucking mask on. And looks like I'm good. Or, hey, got it and it's fine still. That's a good Or, point. Okay. I'm dead. That's a good point. That's a good point. I'm literally going to go everywhere without a mask on. I'll go into the most high-risk places. I don't care. Like, it would be easier if I could find somebody that has it just so we can get over with. Just cough on me. Save me some time. I really I really want it. Like, I don't. You could go yeah. to the soldier's home. Oh, that's true. I go there. <laughs> stop by for a visit. Uh, cause God knows those places are, we, we forgot the nursing home. We fucking forgot about that somehow. Like, but we got, you know, people in swamp Scott with masks on, at least we have that. So we're going to be safe, but I, I feel like I really am just not even remotely scared of it. They're like, Oh my God, you might get it. Oh, Oh fucking no. Oh, I might get a disease that kills like 0.001% of people my, my age. Oh my fucking God. What will I ever do? Oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, just look at the data, folks. Look at it. It's astounding when you look at the ages of people that are dying. Like, over 50% of casualties are in their 80s. That's fucking crazy. Crazy. <laughs> like, like I, I, the odds. No, they, they did. I mean, they had long lives ahead of them. Yes. They, <laughs> it's like they've lived their life. They were going to die soon anyway. They got a fucking thing that accelerated. That's it. That's it. Right. The odds. Clay Travis had a stat on this the other day. It's astounding. The odds of if you're under the age of 25, the odds of you getting and dying of the commie cold are 0.0098%. So it's like literally um, it was whatever one in a million is, except not one, like 0.98 in a million. So like less than one in a million. Um, somebody in the comments has a grandma that she's uh, going to allow to cough on you if you'd like. Yes, hook me up. She has dementia, so she might confuse you as the grandfather. But... Okay, hook it up. I want. Is this a, is that legal? Are you legally allowed to transmit the commie cold? Well, if you weren't an eighty year old woman, they'd probably charge you with something for it. But yes. she's got COVID and hook it up. Hook it up. I want it. Give me that shit. I'm not, I, I have to prove, I have to prove myself. I can't be a fraud, you know? All right. Let me um th- thank, by the way, I want to thank um Suzanne says mask free America. And Suzep says for therapy for Sasha Crane's hamster. We got to get them back on. So thanks. So we're at 80 bucks right now. We are 70 short. So if we can get to 150. We will do the freestyle. All right. Um, so this, the segue I was bringing into was this one, of course. So let's talk about it. So let's see the reactions. What do you think the reactions are going to be to this comment, this post? About, what am I looking at? Uh, will, um, is anyone else allowing their kids to go out and play with their friends? What do you think that people are going to say? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, it's going to be a bunch of Karens saying, yeah. no, their kids can't play with anybody. Let's see. Okay. So first one. Only family and neighbors can't be avoided right now. 
And, and he says, um, just started having my only child be watched by friend close enough to call family two days a week while I work so she can play with her daughter. They've been quarantined as well. Being only child, it was at risk. Uh, I had to take her for emotional well-being. I mean, yeah, that's another thing. If you have an only child, like at least my two kids can play with each other. But like if you are, if you're an only child, then, you know. Like, even if you're not, even if you had five brothers and sisters, to not be able to associate with anybody outside of your house is going to be damaging to a kid. You need to be around your peers and shit. You need to be in school. You need to be learning other personalities. Right. Like this is just, it's insane that people are like, yeah, they, they have no proof that kids are at danger at all. They don't even, there's not even any, anybody saying that kids right. are in danger. Like, yeah. And it's like, so I don't, I don't get it. Like, oh my God, they can, but they can, they're asymptomatic and they can transmit it. Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit if they transmit it? It's going to get transmitted anyway. Why so you don't go to grandma's house. Yeah, don't like don't go to grandma's house. I mean, I thought that was the whole point. Keep grandma quarantined. It's like, why the fuck are you letting your crotch near grandma? What's wrong with you? Right? Like, I thought you were scared. Oi. Um, you know, another one. Just started having my only child be watched by a friend. Oh, we read that one. Um, my daughter and I are considering another small family to be part of our household for the duration. The girls already would say that they were sisters, but not outside of that. If you're going to let your kid hang out with another kid, then what the fuck is the point of all this? You know what I mean? Like, okay, so what about this other kid, right? None of this makes sense. Um, I guess it depends on your comfort level. I don't see any issue. Well, that was nice. That's actually good. Cool. Um, here's another one. Absolutely not. Only Zoom meets. Only <laughs> fucking Zoom Jesus. Nope. My kids are home. My mother-in-law died from COVID. We are not taking any chances. All right. So I'm not calling this woman a liar, but like I do see when people are like, I've known like five people who have died from COVID. I kind of want to call them a liar every time I see it. I'm yeah, sorry. Because they don't know somebody. They know somebody. They heard about it from somebody that knew somebody else. And now they say they know them. I, right. I've seen people do that a million times. Like there's, there's only been, there's been 5,000 in the state, right? And most of them and they're in their fucking eighties and they're living in nursing homes. Like how many fucking old people do you know in nursing homes? Like what? No, I don't believe you. I don't believe that you know five people who died from COVID. I just, I don't, you're, I think you're fucking lying. I think you just, you're an attention or I don't fucking believe your mother-in-law died from COVID. I don't, I don't believe, maybe she did. I apologize if she did. But even if she did, that should bear no consequence whatsoever on your kids interacting, right? Because it's assumed that your mother-in-law didn't hug the kids, right? But she fucking got it anyway. Because oh yeah, she lives in a nursing home, and we forgot to protect those. Well, uh, technically, can't we can can't we blame her? Maybe her kids were the ones that gave her the COVID. That's true. We could. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, she's a murderer then. Yeah, basically. Maybe that's why she's so guilty and doesn't let her kids play anymore. Maybe so. Maybe we're onto something. No, no play dates. Not even seeing cousins who have been quarantined this whole time. What the fuck is wrong with you? You don't get to see your cousins for 10 weeks? Are what the kidding? fuck is the point of quarantining then? Why are we quarantining to make sure everybody's safe again if we're not going to let them go back into the wild after? Yeah, when do they go back? When does this, like, oh my God, when we flatten the curve. I got news for you, bitch. It's still going to be out there. You cannot the argue. The craziest part, how do you make it? So that people with children are so fearful to let their kids out when it's not even a thing that does anything to kids. This is the craziest part of it, is that kids have virtually no risk of, of getting it, dying yeah. from it, anything. Even passing it along, they're not even sure if they do. So to, to, to hide your kids and shit yeah. and keep them indoors and, and then sit there and act like this is something we're supposed to be doing. Absolutely not. I'm not going to let them see anybody. And, and they're making people feel fearful for their kids. Kid, people are making their own selves fearful for their yeah, kids. Exactly. There's no reason. There's none. There's no, no reason at all. Um, and I, I, as Blarney Katie pointed out in the comments, this is actually a great point. Grandmothers in Fall River don't have anything to worry about either. Cause they're all forty, so they, you know. Exactly. What I mean? So you got nothing to worry about, um, and nobody in Fall River lives to be eighty anyway. So you're gonna be good. You're gonna be good anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. So let me read a couple more comments because it gets better. Um, not yet. Probably as the restrictions begin to ease up in the coming weeks. Though, well, that's good. Uh, we've not allowed our two boys, eight and nine, to play with anyone, family or friends. 
Not playing with anyone. Ages 9, 3, 13, 14. No. Lucky my teens have each other and my littles have each other as well. Sibling rivalry, blah, blah, blah. Um, this, this was my favorite. Rebecca Stewart says, no. Also, I'm moving in order to self-isolate from my children when I go back to work next month. What? You're, you're moving out? What the fuck? No, so she's like not. That's her excuse. Get the fuck away from her husband that she hates. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch, you're getting divorced. Stop it. My ex cannot get sick. And neither can our children, as we have only uh, have each other here in this state to raise our four and seven-year-olds. Thankfully, they have each other and are both of their parents for now. I wouldn't be able to handle spreading COVID to anyone. Not judging anyone. Bitch, you definitely judge it. I'm a dental hygienist. And I would also like to add that if anyone has dental cleanings coming up, to not go and not bring their children in either, even if the state opens those non-essential services. Fuck off! Are you kidding? This bitch is that your job is to be a dental hygienist. And she doesn't want to go back to work. <laughs> and you're telling people not to get the tooth cleaned. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you... How do you think cavities are spotted? Like cavities need to get filled, right? Can you even can you get cavities filled right now? I don't even know. I don't. I think um, I think some of them are open and some of them aren't. Like, like they're it's their choice. Like, and I'm sure there's a lot of Karen dentists that are like, oh well, the mouth is where it all spreads, and I'm not gonna keep practicing right now. Yeah, unbelievable. Like, then don't be a fucking like. Oh my god. Um, Anyway, so she's telling people not to come in for the services. No play dates, six and three. They did go to a distant birthday party. All the families stood far apart, and we brought chalk for our kids to play while we all chatted. Okay, first of all, that sounds like fucking hell. Like, are you? That sounds like the first blog today where she had a DJ at her party and she was like downplaying it. Right. It's like, oh, this lady jumped in to say, oh, yeah, no, we're not allowing it, but we did go to a party. Yes. I mean, it's like, so she actually writes um, that they did go to a distant birthday party. So you brought the kids there and they can't go near each other. That sounds like cruel and unusual punishment to do to your children. Like you're going to bring there, bring around the friends, but like, oh, see your friends there that you want to go and play with? You're, you're fucking three, by the way. They're telling a three-year-old, see that little kid over there that you like to play with? That you play tag with usually and hide and seek and shit? Yeah, now you just have to look at them from 10 feet. I know, they're going to start passing out those, like, cans with the string that you used to talk to, like, with your neighbor. Yeah. And be like, this is how far you can get to each other. Yeah. I don't know how bringing chalk makes any difference either. Does that mean they're not next to each other? Yeah, like, so they're just your own kids. So every kid, I'm picturing how this works. Everybody, I've seen some of these, they drive up and they... You know, they open their hatchbacks and they pull out lawn chairs and they sit several feet apart, but not with kids. So the kids come out and then the kids bust out the chalk and each kid is drawing next to their own car. Is that, that- I don't know how I'm picturing it. I'm picturing kids making chalk outlines of each other being like, this is life. Yes. This is just fucking kill me now. Just put my body. Uh, and we- while well, we all chatted, you know what this is? This is a bunch of selfish bitches who wanted to get together. And chat with their girlfriends and made their kids come along if this really happened like this. But of course, I think I agree with you. I don't think this is how it happened. I think they all fucking got together and they played, but she just can't admit it. She can't admit no. it. She yeah. wants to be with the group. Yes. She's part of this Facebook page. I mean, they're a community. Like, and you can't, yeah, you, and you can't come on here and comment. Like, what would happen if you went on there and you're like, you know what? Here's the data, guys. Kids don't get it. What would happen to you? Uh, they'd probably eviscerate you. They'd yes. send you, they'd just, everybody would be commenting on that particular comment and that would be yeah. it. Yeah. Now here's my favorite. The, uh, fa- and of course her name is fucking Karen. <laughs> <laughs> her name That's is great. fucking, the, you, it, the joke's already written itself. Okay. So here's what Karen like literally writes. Nope. And I kind of hate that others are openly in public. Unfortunately, that makes it harder for me. I hope you're staying in your backyard. It makes it really hard for me to explain being selfless and not doing this one thing for others and not for oneself when we have neighbors playing together in the street and he isn't allowed. Oh my fucking God, get over yourself, bitch. 
Good. Yep. This is another one of those situations, the domino effect that I keep bringing up because it's like now everyone's going to start turning on each other because they're resentful for the parents that aren't buying into this bullshit. Yes. So they're going to start blaming on the parents because Good. they can't let their fucking kids out. Good. It's like, hope, it's like I... you can, Karen. You can let your fucking kid out. Do yeah. it. And then yeah. you don't have to fucking worry about this. And good. Your, I hope your kid hates you. Your kid should hate you. I would hate you if you were my mom. You sound like a terrible mother, right? This kid's gonna be a her kid's gonna be a basement dweller. Let's be honest. She, yeah, I mean, this is it. You're, you're sticking them in the house. You're not allowing him to have social interactions. All he does is Zoom meetings. He's gonna be a fucking loser in your fucking basement. Yeah. Well, at least, I'll tell you one person who won't, doesn't have to worry about this. Bristol Blarney. Uh, she is at least one person that that's one thing her and I can agree on is there's a 0.0% chance her kids are fucking quarantined. All right. I'll give her that. Um, but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I couldn't resist, but it's just like, I, it makes it hard for me to explain being selfless. Oh, get over yourself. Oh, I'm so selfless bitch. No, you're not. You're just ill-informed and stupid. That's all you are. Um, nope. And I kind of hate that others are openly in public. Like, so it's not enough that she's not doing it. She doesn't want other kids to do it. Cause like uh, her kid might see freedom and he might want that too. He struggled. And I do my best to explain we are doing this for others to keep people from dying. Oh my God, bitch. You're not keeping anyone from dying. Stop it. We don't Everybody have. Everybody wants to be a hero. Oh my god! We don't have family hat, so he isn't missing grandparents or anything. He misses his friends. He's six. Then let him fucking go. And that one has the most likes. Uh, she's probably like, is that like Kylie Kirkpatrick? It might as well be. <laughs> it might as well be. He's I, sacrificing. He knows it now. I've instilled it in his little young brain. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, I, that's a good point. I wonder what Kylie Kirk. If, if it wasn't for the fact that she had charges pending right now, she would probably be in rare form right now. Yeah, yeah. Her kid would be out there, like, um, raising hell about, uh, you know, social, uh, social distancing. And he'd be making all these, like, revolutionary ways to have kids be together but not be together. And yeah. wearing, probably selling masks that say something profound on them. Yes. <laughs> uh like you know, end lunch shaming, or you know, oh god, I'm a fucking kid. My mom's a fella. That's so. That's so. Last year, <laughs> I know exactly. It's like so long. You can't even remember that a world in which we were writing stories like that. It, it's crazy. I'm looking forward to going back. I'm I'm sick of the Karen stories too. It, it, yeah, they're getting old, but yeah. it's like you can't you can't not see them. They're everywhere. Yeah. They're fucking yeah. everywhere, and they keep getting more like creative. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about this uh, other chick, Franzia Felicia from a uh, sandwich school committee. So um, there was an incident. This is her name is Angela Dalby. She, we can't call her cause she's deleted her Facebook as most people do after we blog about them. And she was uh, recently written about in the local newspaper by a quote unquote reporter named Mark Snyder uh, because she resigned abruptly. Now I don't give a shit about the sandwich school committee. You don't give a shit about them either. So why the hell are we talking about them? Well, it's the story behind the story that they weren't telling. So this is where it got a little ratchet. So on May 6th, uh, somebody posted something about social distancing on a town Facebook group. And hundreds of comments, obviously, whenever these happen, people comment, turns into a huge thing. As always, all the Karens come out. And one, a turtle rider who happens to be a register, an RN, so she would normally be, you know, like we're, we have to respect nurses, remember? She yep. thinks this is all ridiculous, as do a lot of nurses, believe it or not. They think this is all ridiculous. And so she wants to come out and, um, you know, she shares her opinion that this is ridiculous. And then this bitch, who is an LPN, which I'm told is like half a step up from um, CNA. I don't really know how this works, but it, it's not like a real nurse. And she decides to send this message in the inbox. Let's see what it says. I feel sorry for you. You're an RN and you're a judge, mental bitch. You are rude, obnoxious. How dare you talk to a girl like that? And the, she's like, I'm, I'm sorry, who are you? She's like, I'm your worst nightmare, you little cunt. Why don't you come see me and I'll show you a thing or two. Fucking skank. <laughs> she says, please leave me alone. Ha ha, you're a piece of shit and you're a, a, a pathetic excuse for a mother. Okay. So that came out. That's literally what happens if you share an opinion. Now, 
about, you know, even though she's a nurse herself and it's like, yeah, ex pathetic excuse. If she wasn't a nurse, she probably would have got a message saying like, um, Oh my God, you don't care about nurses. But instead, when you are a nurse yourself, they just call you a pathetic excuse for a nurse. You know? So um, it's like when you're like when a black person like defends a conservative talking point, right? When a white person does it, they, you just call them racist, right? When a black person does it, you can't call them that. So they call you like a race traitor or an Uncle Tom or shit like that. It's kind of like that with nurses, right? Like if you're a nurse and you're not towing the stay home, save lives bullshit, they just call you a disgrace to nurses as they don't really give a shit about nurses. They, they just care about themselves. That's all this is. So Angela Dalpy, as you can see, pretty standard Karen, shitting on protesters. There she is with her mask. She had an incident during the um, school committee meeting. Let's pull this up, shall we? <laughs> so this is, um. she shows up, <laughs> it's a Zoom meeting, and I love how she's, did you see the background she had? Are you still with us, Western Mass? Did I lose you? Did I lose her? Where'd she go? Did I lose you? Yeah, can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry, I, I got knocked out, and I, I think you had to let me back in. All right, so no, oh, Noel wants. I'm going to bring in Noel too. We got Noel. Let's see what he's going to say. Noel, hi, okay. hi, good. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Listen, I just want to say, okay, about the dental cleaning thing. Did you know that the number one cause of death in children, um, younger than age eight, back like just a hundred to 150, 200 years ago, was a uh, lack of dental hygiene? I did not know that. Yeah, it was um, it was of abscessed teeth. And so uh, I, I live in Plymouth and I used to do history tours and and ghost tours. And uh, it's even the ghost tours were based in historical fact. And um, a lot of these young children who who died um, and Plymouth has a very old cemetery, as I'm sure, you know, you, you would you would expect. Um a lot of these children, they all died from uh, dental uh, hygiene issues. Yeah. So, like, so if you're saying don't go, yeah, um, and your child has a cavity, yeah. that cavity could easily become an abscess tooth, which leads to death. So, mm -hmm. like, are, do we want to just bring back that number one cause of of childhood death? So you're saying Karens kill children. Yeah, they do. Also, um, just as a note, I actually, I've tried to donate three times to the PayPal oh. system. I don't know what's wrong with, it might be my phone, but it keeps knocking me out. So oh, if there's God. another, if there's another way to pay you, oh. I'd love to. I, um, I, I wish I could give you more than the 10 bucks I want to give you. I, I mean, I, I personally am still employed, but my employer had to cut my hours, but, uh, I'm not you qualified. Can work for me. <laughs> well, I'm not qualified for any um, unemployment or anything like that. And even though I've been working my entire life, I, you know, I don't want that. I don't want yeah. that. So instead, um, and I, and I normally have another job. I am. Um, and I hope this just stays between us turtle riders. I work as Ethel Kennedy's personal it, assistant. It during this okay. right. So um, I might lose that gig because of the coronavirus this summer. I've been doing that for seven years. Right. So my side hustle is really great. And I actually got a job cleaning a mansion today. And um, I'm, you know, on my hands and knees scrubbing and cleaning for these people. And uh, they had four children. And I, I entered the house wearing a mask just because, you know, out of respect. Yeah. Um, and, for you know, sure. they're, paying me, they're paying me well. And out of respect, you know, I'm entering someone's house and the mother immediately when I showed up said, take off that mask. And I said, OK, okay. Thank you. And because well, because, you know, she, her her she and her husband are millionaires. Right. So they're they're conservative, obviously, because when you get that. Yeah, you know, no, 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 no. Well, well, if uh, if you make that kind of money as being a public servant, then you're typically a Democrat. But if you make that kind of money, actually, like building your own, um, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and they're so gracious, right? And uh, their four children were around, and one of their children had a friend over, and and um, they didn't mind me being near them. They didn't care. They were totally 
you know, so that just yeah. to go back to that comment, I don't have any kids of my own, but um, yeah. I was there today. Oh, and okay. also just, just not to toot my own horn, but like I, uh, instead of trying to get some government funding because I lost hours with the, my, my, you know, full-time job yeah. um, and I might lose my seasonal job um, instead of doing that, I, I chose to like seek out, other things. And I said, I'd take a cleaning job. And you know what? AOC talks about the shame of her mother having to clean toilets. Um, I'm sorry, but number one, her mother cleaned toilets and then actually was able to rise above. So it proves yeah. that capitalism works, yeah. but also there's no shame. In hard I days. Know. I'd rather I, fucking do what I did today than collect. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for calling in. Uh, we got to get back to the show, but I appreciate you calling in and uh, good luck with everything. Thanks. All right. Thanks. Um, all right. So um, let me, uh, by the way, I also want to thank um, people who donated here. Um, it looks like we've crossed the threshold. So it's going to happen. Thank you to Joanna. Michelle says, uh, thanks for the continued entertainment. You've kept me sane through this all. Jill Nunez writes, oh, come on. So she's, uh, I Say guess I, I said I would read everything. So, and I love Suzanne. So uh, we had Suzanne. She says, for know-it-all, done everything, Suzanne. When she hits you up for a loan, when her credit card bill comes in. Come on. I love Sue. We love Suzanne around here. Uh, Lisa LaRoche said, and I said I'd read everything, so I can't help it. Um, says, for the freestyle. So thank you. We love all turtle riders equally around here. All right. So we have uh, passed the threshold. So that's great. We're going to have a freestyle. It's going to be good. Oh, and also we got one more. Um, we have here from M Job says, 10 for me, 10 for Noel. So in her FUPA PayPal phone. Also in the Milford DMV article, I died reading this like it was in the high 50s yesterday and this man simply could not wait to bust it out, the wife beater, and head on down to the DMV. It was so true. It was so true. I love that guy pissing on himself the other day. <laughs> if that ain't a sign of the times, I don't know what it is. All right. So let's play this, shall we? ESP doesn't know. So this is the school committee meeting, and I love in the background how she's got the American flag there for just absolutely no fucking reason. It's just so prominent, you know what I mean? And she's clearly inebriated when she first gets there. Now watch her closely in the corner here. Watch what happens. I teach the students, and I've been I've been listening in, and I know other parents have, and they said they don't mind the ESP being trained. But the, all this is going to happen and is she goes, when you talk to she's gone, and she's gone and she passes out. Oh, I can't help but kind of empathize with her. If I was listening to this yeah. lady, I'd be no, like her too. That's a boy for a good um, And you said that you were looking for yeah. um, the special education department chairs to provide coordination and services. No, um, we, this is boring as shit. Correct? This. We have the, the, the Here he comes. chairs is what we call them. Here he comes. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, what's her name and now saying to the ot oh, he's like oh angela's doing it again yeah oh, she's <laughs> wasting oh, again gotta, she fell asleep on camera america america yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, boring as shit well that's what she does when she doesn't have any fucking nurses to call up and call fucking skanks to yeah oh my god oh my god you guys missed that I mean, people saying rewind. Okay. Um, you don't have to read my comment, but my donation says it all uh, solely for the Karen haircut. Oh, thank. Did I miss that one? Okay. I didn't mean to miss you. Um, but they, I, I definitely got to get a haircut big time. Can you replay it? We missed it. How'd you guys miss that? What happened? Is it FUPA computer? Let me play I that saw again. it. I don't know. Let me see. Well, you're backstage. You see, um, I guess. P, because ESP doesn't know how to teach the students. Here we go. Watch again. And I've been, Up here. I've been listening in, and I know other parents have. And they said they don't mind the ESP being trained, but the, all this is going to happen is when you there she goes. Going back there she goes. See her right there. See how she's slumped down. She's like disappeared. All of these kids are going to be so far behind. The <laughs> she's email. out. They and then I fast forward like thirty seconds or something like that. Second thing. Uh, and they're talking, and, and she's still passed out in her chair. And that's when the boyfriend comes over. And chairs is what we call them. At that and he's like, uh, right. yeah, Why aren't they not again, not again. Yeah. So there you go. 
<laughs> All right. So she went and deactivated her page. That is the story behind the story that nobody else brings her. There she is. Like, like this is her at the beginning of the meeting. Look at that face. That is plastered. It's like she's not even trying. She made it 40 minutes. That's goddamn impressive. 40 minutes. How well, the hell 40 minutes is a long time to get drunk, too. She's probably sitting there. It looked like she was drinking I know. something at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, and there's another reason we need to end quarantine. Fucking poor Angela's at home drinking her face off. She needs a break. Save her, man. Open up. Open up. Anyway, uh, let's go on to the last story here. And that would be, uh, I, I talked about this the other day, too. This Boston nurse. Um, and people were so mad at me. Over yeah, this. I read the comments today. Oh, my God. People were fired up at me. Turtle Rod is like, like pissed, like really pissed. Like, I'm so fucking sick of you going after nurses, Turtle Boy. Like, what's your problem? Okay. Yeah, but this is the same. This is like the cops. This is like what you did with Wilk from Chicopee the other day. They're, yeah. They're a split. They're divided. Yes. No, it's a good point. And it's also like land and steel a lot. Like, remember the land and steel stories? Yeah. 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 So, like, if you're going to, how are you going to support this bullshit? And hate on, well, I guess Landon Steele, you know, is an alcoholic and he rips women off and shit like that. So, but Landon Steele's whole thing was like, look at me, I'm fucking big badass American. Yeah, like fucking, that makes my fucking point of view more relevant than yours. Like, fuck yeah, I'm, I'm Landon fucking Steele. Look at me and my gun and my beard and shit. I'm fucking rugged. You know what I mean? Whereas uh, this. She's a nurse though, right? Yeah, this She's is not your, pretending. This is like her real that's job. That's, that's a good point. They're not actually lying. That's a, that, that is another difference between them. But it's the same idea. Even if Lynn Steele was telling the truth, I still wouldn't respect them. Like, because I don't don't make me respect you. Just fucking do your job, and I'll respect you on your own. So this chick has been going into her closet apparently during the job uh, and just making videos um, of herself. Watch. That skin on my nose there is the spot where the is open. And that's great. I'm happy she's helping people. I think that's awesome. Okay, so everything's changed during the pandemic. It's jealous of the people who don't have to work. Oh, fuck off. In the hospitals right now because... They probably just have this ignorance is bliss attitude. And even the ones who don't have that attitude have no idea what we're seeing. Oh, God. So we have no idea. I, I have a general idea. 2020. It was April 1st, 2020. It was May 11th. Documented experience. Okay. So here's my question. How did GMA get this tape? My question is, how does she have so much time to hide in a fucking janitor closet taking all these videos every day? Every day. She's so fucking, everybody's dying around here. You know, there's there's emergencies everywhere. There's shortages of people working. But she can go in a closet and cry once a day and make a video documentary. With the phone, too. And, other, and can we talk about, like, sterilization? I don't know how this works. But, like, wouldn't cell phones be a primary way to bring in a disease? Right. You know yeah, what I mean? That, that too to contaminate everything like cell phones touch nasty shit all the time. You put it down on tables, you, you know, you, you, it's all of your fingers and shit, you know, you're eating. It's like, it gets fucking dirty, a cell phone. And you're just bringing, I mean, we're not going to talk about that. So she goes in there, films herself. Obviously GMA doesn't get this organically. It had to be sent to them. And I, again, all the respect in the world for nurses, for everything they're doing on the front lines, saving lives, etc. We all know that. Um, but like it, you, it is your job. Like you did, you did sign up to do it. And I, and I don't like this when the cops do it either. Like, I don't like when cops are like, you know, out there, like some of the cops that like get a little bit trigger happy, you know what I mean? Like some of these people out there, like, Oh, like Amber Geiger, like she's a perfect example. Like nobody had her back and nor should they, you know, like, Oh, I thought, I was, I was in my own apartment. So I just started fucking shooting shit, you know, but I'm out there. I'm saving lives though. You can't, you can't criticize me because I'm fucking saving lives. I know it's not exactly the same thing, but a lot of people, my point is this hero worship over fucking jobs. Like you did sign up for the fucking job. Like if you're the cop, you signed up for a level of danger. You shouldn't just be fucking shooting everything because you're scared for your life. Okay. That doesn't make it a fucking excuse. And 
you are a nurse. You signed up to deal with fucking dying people. Like, fucking people die every day. You see them die. It's tragic. But, like, you fucking signed up for this, you know? So I don't know what to tell you. you. You did sign up for this. But more power to you. I'm happy that you're out there saving lives. Very good. Somebody's got to do it. I ain't going to do it. My issue is when she tell the message at the end is stay home. Like, that's what comes, like, at the end. Let's fast forward to this part. Please. Uh, COVID patient. Okay. Diana worries that many Bostonians aren't abiding by the stay at home orders. It's just, it's just been really difficult. And it's hard sometimes seeing people out and not following the protocol of just staying home. Oh, wait. You guys can't even see this. It's not even, oh, crap. I got to, I didn't realize it was an on. Let me pull it up there. Sometimes I forget. I'll, I'll show you. I think that we put a mask on the page. There it is. It's just, it's just been really difficult. Sorry. And it's hard sometimes seeing people out and not following the protocol of just staying home, people going out, they're getting together. And it's frustrating as a nurse seeing this because you're looking at them and you know, you just know how bad this is going to get and how bad it is. Oh my fucking god! Okay, so my like I've said, I've brought up my sister before. I saw her today. She's back home from New York. Uh, needs a break, you know what I mean? So she's a nurse in Mount Sinai in Manhattan, and all she does is fucking work, and then goes home, and there's nothing to fucking do in New York. Like a <laughs> there's nothing to do. Nothing's open. So she came home, and she's you know with you know a bunch of my brothers and sisters are there. My kids are there. My parents are there. We're all there, and. She doesn't give a fuck. She's not like, like, oh my God, I can't interact with your kids. I can't interact with my parents because she's like a normal human being. Like she's like, when we drove by, we went on a, we went on a walk on the fucking rail trail today. There's fucking people everywhere. And she's not freaking out about it. Believe it or not, it is possible to be a nurse and not fucking be a, a Karen. That is possible. And these, like I have all... Notice that GMA isn't showing the nurses that aren't pushing this message. You know what I mean? There's a lot of nurses that aren't too. There's a lot of them that I've I've talked to recently. I have a lot of friends that are nurses. I, I have a lot of clients that are in the medical field. And the ones that I've talked to don't sound like this. Yeah, and I don't. They give me a lot of different information. And it seems very weird. I, ha I know nurses that have been laid off. And they're like, we don't even have... A job right now because yeah the people that do surgeries you know what i mean yeah. that do specialty stuff like that they're they're because it's all COVID all the time it's the COVID well they <laughs> wanted to they were gonna make all of them you know COVID nurses but guess what they didn't end up needing them yeah because shocking oh well, because we stayed home and saved lives that's why we right, have no evidence yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that we yep. have no evidence that's the reason why we just assume so we we did our part right boy Anyway, um, I just lost nine family members in a COVID explosion. Guys, it's real. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, man. I, there was a, a COVID massacre at the high school the other day. Some kid came in our with an AR-15, and we all died of COVID. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. That's the only way that this could get fixed. The only way, like, you know, all these deaths are being reported as COVID deaths. All of them. Yeah. The only way it wouldn't is if you got shot with an AR-15. Then they'd be honest about it. Well, They're here's like, another another thing that I actually heard recently, which kind of kind of scared me a little bit, was that um, a lot of people um, that have underlying health issues, that especially older ones, they have DNRs that are signed. So they're, you know, they're they're instructing people to let them die. Like really? They know their time is coming and they're they're going to die, so they don't want to be resuscitated and they're dying and they're getting marked COVID too. So it's like they're not like these tragic, like they these are people that already knew they were their days are numbered. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so um, we got Eddie Mato, and if you guys want to come on the stream and chat before I do a freestyle, you can just make your point. Right, we're gonna do a Felger style. Just make your point, Mike. If you don't listen to Felger and Maz, it, it, he if he, he he cuts off mumblers, the ums, people like that. Be ready to rock, fire it out. Here we go. Eddie Motto's up first. Also, Eddie. mute your YouTube. Hey, Uncle Turtle, how you doing, man? Good. How are you, man? What's up? What you got, man? All right, buddy. Uh, 
few weeks ago, you thought I was on the Bristol show. I did. Comments on I did. I did. I was. It wasn't me. I just want to make that clear. That was not me. I do not watch that show. I can't stand that bitch. From the first day she was on your show, I couldn't stand her. Well, good. Okay, so you're 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 my. You know what I mean? And I'm glad you fixed your caps lock button. (laughs) And the other thing I want to bring up that freak you were talking to last week on the phone, Sasha. What was her name? Tasha. Tasha. Sasha. Sasha. Did. Didn't Bristol come clean about her past in one of her shows at one time well, about how she lost her kids and she was a oh, drunk and all this other shit? Yeah, if that's what you want Wasn't to call it. Wasn't there yeah, a show quotes. about that? Yeah. Quote, unquote, she unquote, didn't say unquote, shit. Unquote. She was basically just like, oh, my God, I was going through a really rough patch because I got beat up by my boyfriend. And, uh, yeah, and then, like, uh, you know, I just gave them away because it was what was best for them. That ain't what happened. She, They were taken from her by force. But didn't that girl Sasha know that, or that guy, or whatever oh, it was? Yeah, Sasha. whatever, whatever it they are, they are well aware of what happened because I informed Sasha, and Sasha's whole thing was, um, I don't care because as long as they're going after the predator, apologize, then they're my kind of guy. I'm really not care. I we love your voices. With Sasha, <laughs> it would be a great guest because I've never, I've never laughed so hard. Then it's yeah, yeah. I need Sasha every fucking week on the show. She's fucking <laughs> whatever she is, whatever pronoun she wants to be called, I'm calling her that to yeah. get her on the fucking show. Period. So <laughs> I, I loved when Brett called. I loved when Brett called. I always yeah. like got on her a little bit more or him a little bit more, but it, it was good. It was we'll have Brett on more often, definitely. All right, man. Thanks for calling, pal. All right, man. Good talking Peace. to you. All right. Anybody else want to call the uh link? I can um I can throw the link in there. Um, if you want to call in and out, no pleasantries. Um, that was Eddie Mato from the comments. Like I said, this is a call in show. Anybody mm-hmm. wants to call in, they're more than welcome to. I I mean, did you guys think Sasha was funny? Did you think Sasha was funny, Western Mass? Funny? I, um, I, I don't know. I was confused. I when she, the first thing she he she said yeah. was that um you can't molest somebody unless you have a kid or something like that. No, and I'm like, what the like, fuck uh, does that mean? That was I thought it was a joke, but I know <laughs> she kept going on with it. Literally. And then <laughs> like I don't think that she kind of you can't even abuse kids unless you have kids. Like what? She's like correct me if I'm wrong, but my guy. <laughs> Um, oh make sure you know that if you don't have a kid, you can't even molest kids, right? Oh. So, uh, and I'm like, oh, what the fuck is going on right now? I don't, I don't even think Turtle Boy is creditable. The best part was Bristol in the comments, like, oh, oh. I have, I have, um, court documents, court documents. I have plenty of court documents that yeah. I have copy and pasted throughout the yeah. years. Yeah, she's like, you're being charged with perjury, and this and that. It's like, I don't. So basically, after the after the hearing I had with Fojo, he's an idiot, and of course he files a motion that I like perjured myself or something. I don't even know what the fuck he's talking about, right? Because Fojo's full of shit. He just makes shit up. He's a fucking mm-hmm. lunatic, and he and then obviously Bristol is following the docket like very whatever, and then she sees it. And she's like, oh my god, he's being charged with perjury. She's like, gonna use that against you one day. She'll I take know. it, copy and paste it, and it I do love how it's like. Like that's your that's what you got. That's the best you have against me. Like you literally had two kids taken away from you by the state, and that's just the tip of the iceberg of shit we got on you. And the best you got on me is, oh my god, perjury during a bullshit restraining order hearing in Manchester. Okay, that's sad. Yeah, it's sad. Yeah, it's not good. All right, let's let's do it a little freestyle here, shall we? Let's do it. All right. Mountain City Councilor said to stay home, but her crotch fruits are allowed to roam. Had a birthday party for her daughter, didn't think that Karen would spot her. Says it was just friends and it shouldn't cost her. Bitch, it was enough to fill an NFL roster. If your daughter really wants to have fun, don't chill with mom when you turn 21. I don't really care because I ain't a little bitch. I just can't stand a hypocrite snitch. Boston nurse. 
went on GMA, scaring folks that their opinions will sway, making videos while she's hiding, misinformation she be providing. Bitch got a case of a hero complex while we out here catching unemployment checks. Told us stay home to flatten the curve. Had you packed out, but you're getting on my nerve. You said it would be two weeks, don't you remember? Suck my dick if you want me to wait till November. Curly hit asshole out in Brookline. Goes on Facebook and all he does is whine. Taking pics of kids while they walk in. In a sane world, we call this stalking. Creepiest dude that I've ever seen. Hope your biscuit just gets COVID 19. Keep your mouth shut in the peanut gallery when the taxpayers are paying your salary. Bakery Becky got her feelings hurt because they were mean while she making dessert. Ho, shut the fuck up. Your business is thriving. Half of Water Street is barely surviving. If you don't like hearing enough bombs, don't sell gluten-free to soccer moms. Bitch, your whole shtick is patronizing. Called up the news for the free advertising. No one gives a shit if your feelings got injured. Calm your ass down, you cry baby ginger. Sandwich Karen likes to hit the bottle. If you outside, your neck's getting throttled. Craziest bitch in the whole town. Honorary captain of Team Lockdown. She got a potty mouth. And it ain't pretty. How'd this bitch get on the school committee? Passed out halfway through the Zoom call. Bitch, have a soda, not green alcohol. Local newspaper, sure did protect her, but couldn't get by my bullshit detector. Uh. That was awesome. You nailed it. Boom! How was that? Fire emojis? You okay. nailed it. Nailed That was better than the warm-ups, because I fucked yeah, up. Yeah, way better. You, you, you nailed that one. Woo! Good job. All right. <laughs> All right, so now that's out of the way. All right, anybody else? Uh, okay, good. Some fire emojis. I like to see it. I like to see it. All right, appreciate that, folks. Hope that was worth it. Okay, anybody? A uh, little Ask Turtle Boy situation before we end the show. It's been a good show as always. Um, and uh, feel free to leave a, uh, if you want to call up, you can too. Once again, I think I can post a link here. So you can call up or you can... Uh, Post a comment in the. If you call up, you you get your questions asked ahead of time. So you, if you want to call in and ask your question, you'll get it first. When are we going on with? Con okay, I got. I'm going to contact him this week, Lee. I promise. I, I'm going to try to make it. I have a feeling he ain't going to do it because I'm going to try. I'm going to try with him though. But it would, might have to be on his platform. Not going to lie. We'll see. Leah wants to debate, not debate, confront. Howie Carr, because Howie's still writing about her constantly. Like, Howie cannot write a column without mentioning her, and which I think is unfair. I mean, I've written about Leah many times myself, but, like, it's kind of – I mean, it's old news at this point. And it's like, how many times are you going to fucking mention it, you know? But anyway, um, all right, questions. Warwick did nothing. Believe me, I'm going to do I saw the Warwick video. I'm going to do a blog on that. I also saw the video of the guy jerking off in the, in the, in the Springfield Stop and Shop. So many people sent me that today. I was a little busy. I couldn't get to it. But believe me, those ones are coming. I did not see this, and I can't wait to hear about that. Oh, you didn't hear about Oh, <laughs> no. there. There's literally a guy fucking stroking it hard, and they got it full-fledged. And it ain't nothing to brag about. Like, front seat. Like, he didn't give a fuck. You know, where do you see it? It's wild. It's wild. In the Warwick rap video, where do you see that? Where, yeah. Oh, you guys haven't seen it. Okay, so it's news to you. I got to publish it then. How do you not drop everything for this proof? I wasn't home, man. I'm like, I want my kids. I'm just like, hey, we got to end this nice little afternoon we're having because I got to go. There was a guy jerking off. In the Springfield Stop and Shop, kids. So I got to head home and write about that. You know. I mean, I would have. Yeah, true. <laughs> that's true. Um, anything else? Any? Nobody has any questions. Let's see, show us. Call them. Yeah. And I promise I'll show. It. Um, that was Mitch beating off in a Stop and Shop. Yeah. Have you seen the Alpha 24? Yes. Oh my God. Can we talk about that for just a moment? Okay. We're going to, we're going to, so there's this guy in the comments who shows up every fucking time. He's like one of Kate's people. Um, do I have pants on? Maybe, maybe we'll just leave it at that. Um, 
You got to see this. All right. Let me see if I can find this guy. Okay. So this guy always leaves these comments. He's always just like 10,000 subscribers, only 1,717 views, only nine comments. LOL. Like, I'm like, what is your, this is what Kate values is like, you know, comments and views. Like, I don't give a shit about that kind of stuff. I care about quality. But this is apparently what currency is on in the YouTube community. And so I go to click on the guy's thing and he's got a channel himself and he makes videos and he made one about me. Should we watch it or is that a yeah. stupid question? Yep. Okay, let's watch it. Here he is. Look at this guy. Alpha. What the fuck? Thanks for watching this video. It could be on Total Boy Sports Channel. So that guy is pitiful to three. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful. <laughs> Precious every word award. I think it's better other people for exercising their constitutional rights. I think claims that he has a right to first amendment and all that crap. Oh, crap. And uh, <laughs> on the other day, he uploaded a video <laughs> about uh, people protesting you got us the home order. The home order. He got mad because I was carrying guns to protest. He got southern I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what accent this is. No, to turn a boy, get over it. I think he's southern. Yeah, that accent. Your sounds like Kermit. It's uh, turn a boy subscribers uh, has uh, dropped off. Turn a boy subscribers dropped off. Views have dropped off. The one video, one uh, video that he got for somebody else. I'm not saying how. I'm not saying if it's, he got it illegally or copyrighted or whatever. But I know he didn't make it. Let's put it that way. I got ten thousand views, and it's not one of his uh, homemade uh, videos. So he is at home in his basement doing it. Well, I put guy posted a comment. Where is I he? Think it's probably true. That he stayed at home. His work. classroom? That's why it's work. He really needs subtitles. That's probably uh, typical of probably 95% of these people on YouTube. Not me. <laughs> Not me. I'm retired. Oh, he's retired. I work part-time. Oh, he works part-time. House is paid for. House is paid for. I may not have the best recording equipment. Doesn't have the best. best. He's at risk for COVID. Yes. Uh, oh, absolutely. That's paid for. His glasses are so dominant. I don't beg for money on the YouTube channels and stuff like that. Oh, my God. I thought that's fair in itself. We got to get this guy in the he show. Got, he's not a man. He's not a man. A man uh, takes care of his bills and stuff. <sighs> this guy sounds like he's got, he's got COVID. He's definitely in that Oh, my God. making no type of money off the... Make, and make How long make. is this? Seven uh, minutes and 18 seconds. Oh my We're God. Not gonna I'm already thing. lost. Not making no money. How can I call him? Five, ten bucks. Sorry. He's like so obsessed with how much money I'm making. He doesn't like Abrams either. Kids. I told a boy to have him all back and forth, back and forth. Turtle what boy. do you do? You know, they're both losers. They're both losers. I'm like him. He cusses out the other one. I'm blessed he cusses out his kids all the time. I cuss around my kids. When he cusses, they just cut, just cut it off. They cut it off. Okay. Just for a show or whatever. Uh, that, that's how he did is probably in real life. Huh? I'll tell you, any of his sponsors, if anybody's out there, Post him and let's start boycotting them. Oh, he's gonna boycott. Okay, he's leading the boycott. People are like, like, they're just pretty sorry. This is, that's all there is to it. Okay. Yeah, I can't understand a fucking word he's saying. His studio, aka his basement. Oh, yeah, I'm he in my basement. Talks to them, say, oh, did he does this or he does that. Can you, can, can you fix this? There's nobody in there. How many times have you ever seen anybody else on his videos? It's true. Even him, it's a good point. It's just not nobody, there. nobody. He cracked the case, guys. I'm along. <laughs> I don't even know what he said. You're saying <laughs> you like I, I pretend to have other people down here, but I'm really all alone. 
right. He's in a classroom right now with a whiteboard behind him. Really? That's a good question. Why did maybe probably again a few years after I saw her for his wife? For his any wife. woman that put up with that crap, she needs to force him and kick him out of the house and <laughs> kick him to the car. He wants my wife to kick me out. Come on, guy. Where am I going to sleep? And then, was, um, and then what? What do you got next? But uh, one video, he tried to essential workers are not important. So, yeah, essential well, workers aren't you important. Know, he, he got behind uh, the doses of Dr. C after his family. I said, I told a boy, I said, uh, basically, really after him, a person, a person left, I would see his bad now. But at least he does some. Uh, Good uh, videos. Okay, he likes Bristol's videos. Okay, somebody needs to make this a mashup. I know. Oh, hold on, two minutes, we'll be done. I promise. I set up the other guy to get arrested because he had a federally war. Got his name starts with an age that just can't come across it right now. What the fuck is he talking about? She cusses too much. We had something that cuss all the time. No, that's just stupid to me. Oh my, I love him so much. Yeah, she does beg for money on the end of there. No different than the people. <laughs> for some this needs to be a bad lip reading. I know. <laughs> Guys, his channel is Altha2014. I, I got to get him on the show. Altha, you got to come on. Call in, man. Okay, and this so like I I always wondered I'm like what is a what does a Bristol Blarney supporter look like like because they're all anonymous trolls there's no turtle riders left except for Ashley what's her name Ashley A Z and uh, I imagine them tall look like Ryan Waters and people like this guy this yeah. is the perfect guy you um, know I imagine them looking like you know turtle riders but like they've all left you know and this is like I'm like, who the hell are all these people that are watching this video, these videos? None of them are from around here. They're all from like around, like this guy's clearly from like Alabama or something. Well, there's only 29 views. <laughs> yeah, on his, on his <laughs> on this video. So well, well, it's not channel, like. It gets a lot more because it gets propped up by like Degeneration Nation and bigger mm -hmm. channels and stuff like that. And so this guy, I'm like, who are these people that keep commenting on my page? Who are these trolls? Because they don't use their real names. And this is who? This is the, your average Bristol Boy, so she left Turtle Boy for this. Like, she left the biggest freaking like fan base of the best fans in the Ooh, world. Let's be honest, she thought she was gonna ride your coattails, but she didn't ride them long enough. She kind yeah. of dwindled out right at the beginning, didn't get to the big part of it. <laughs> yeah, you, she should have. If you're gonna do that, you, you left too early, honey, right? <laughs> and wait till your show actually takes off. <laughs> yeah, like, and this is who you're who you're left with, so uh. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. Kate absolutely would have blogged about this guy. You're absolutely right about that, Christina. Absolutely right. Um, and so this is just what, what a fucking world. So anyway, um, we got to get that guy on. So if you're listening, Alpha, whatever your real name is, please call in. And that goes for all the people out there. Who are the other ones? Like who are the other haters in the car? Steve Shepard. Is that the one? Who are the ones that I, I don't even pay attention. That is much. there an Evo or something like that that was getting? Is he one of the? Is he one of hers or he's just a troll in general? We I had don't the, know. I just block. saw some shit in passing. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, honestly, people like, come on the show. Come on the show. <laughs> you know. Is Bristol not allowed to come on the show? Is that? Oh, she's situation? welcome whenever she wants. She's always. I welcome. would love that because that's what she makes too. likes to continuously talk shit on other mediums, but never hear. Right, she does. Like she's on there on on Sasha's thing, posting all the shit. It's like, why don't you just come on? You obviously like the fight. You know, I'm going to give you views. Like you know, that just by talking to me, it'll be good. Like people are going to watch it. So why not just come on and debate me? Because she knows that. Because she can't. And I was yeah. I was yeah. all over those comments the other day. And I was watching them before my eyes. Delete, delete, delete. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm asking you. a. It was like a yes or no question that couldn't even be answered. Yeah. And it's so funny to me. Because if you really are what you say you are, then it should be easy enough to just come and right. talk like, about it. The reason I'm not afraid, and she is, you know, it's like. Right. Is, she knows she's outnumbered. Like she, she said, come on. She worked for me. She knows who I am. She knows what turtle boys about. She knows what I do for a living. 
she knows she's outmatched, so she simply goes on with the. She performs. Doesn't that kind of make it crazier, though? The fact that she knows all of this yet continues doing what she's doing. That's a good point. I mean, that kind of just adds to the insanity that, like, she knows this is all out there. She knows everybody's read about it, and yet she continues and pretends like it's not the elephant in the room. And in fairness to people like Alpha, they don't care. And people like Sasha. No, just, he's never read your blog. Well, do you think he's never read it? Or do you think? No, he, I, I don't think he has. I really? think he's read her bullshit. And That's then she is, he has never went. This is exactly how the idiots work. This is everybody in America right now. They read yeah. one side and they never go research the other side. And then they are this guy on fucking camera in his classroom. Yeah, we got to get him on. We got to get this guy on. Because I'd honestly like to ask him, like, so what do you think about, how do you reconcile all of that, my friend? Like, how do you, uh, we would need a translator, though. That's going to be a problem, understanding what the fuck he's saying. I have no goddamn clue. No clue. Um, be fun. Yeah, he would be fun. Oh, Matt, I'd love to get Mass Hole Mitch on here. Well, Michael. His name is Michael Agnetta. We got to get Michael on here sometime from North Reading. Um, but. Yeah, pedantic. That's another one of her words she loves. She loves the same words over and over again. All right. Um, all right. Any other questions, guys, before we call it a night? Let's see. Um, can you get uh, Kate's ex, Stephen Young? No, Stephen won't come on. I've tried reaching out to his fan. He doesn't want to talk on, on record. Um, but I'd love, I'd love to get him on. I'd love to get Andrew Johnson on. I'd love to get family on, but they're so afraid of Kate. They're like talking to these people. They're like fucking petrified of her. They don't like, they hate her fucking. You think I don't like Kate? Talk to any family member that's ever dealt with Kate. Oh my God. Wait do you talk to them. It's only a matter of time. She'll be here eventually. You think so? Yeah, that'll be that'll be her. She need she's gonna need that attention at some point in time. She'll be here. Yeah, I mean, she'll need the views, and when she needs the views, she'll come to, back to the Josh. will be Josh Abrams will be in jail. She's gonna need something, you know. Yeah, you better be prepared though, because she's gonna come with some twist. Yeah, I mean, Christina says I'm certain that Kate cheats on her husband, uh, quote unquote husband, her boyfriend. Well, we know that because she's admitted to it. She's actually told him, like I. I fucking bit him or whatever. And then I told him I fucking fucked your brother. So obviously we all know, believe it or not, she can't be trusted. Um, so anyway, we need to get her next daughter is going to be on turtle boy one day too. Yeah. Which is you a know, shame. The, yeah. I know it is a shame. Ashley, uh, you know, people say we need a blog and Ashley as, I mean, there's not much to say with Ashley. Ashley is just pathetic and really needs attention. She was like, you know, my biggest fan, turtle boys, biggest fan girl for years. But you look at people like her and it's really just kind of sad because they're just look, they have no real life relationships and they, so they have to make up for it with internet relationships. You know what I mean? Those this is what happens in quarantine, by the way. Yes. All yeah. your kids are going to be like, Kate, just so you know, every Karen listening right now, you're going to have a Kate. Yeah. yeah. That's a good point. What's up with Amanda Sawyer. That's what I'd like to know, man. She just fucking disappeared, disappeared. Even with the Bristol blind shit, she was just gone. Where'd she go? Gone. I'm not electric got cut off. What was that? Her electricity got cut off. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. All right. Any other questions, guys, before we gave it a night? Call it a night? Yeah. I mean, Christina, like she might have given it up, you know. She realized, I don't know. Maybe it's, they put her in the loony bin. I don't know. I don't know. But I haven't even heard anything crazy she's done lately. I figured she'd be one of the people out there po protesting against quarantine. She seems like the type. We'll get you on soon, Leah. I promise. We, you and uh, North Shore. We got to get her on. Um, all right, guys. So if we don't have any other questions, guys, we'll call it a night. All right, then. All right, Turtle Riders. Thanks for joining us. And we will. And thank you, everybody, for donating. I don't want to miss anyone. Let me just hit the refresh button one more time. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the freestyle tonight. Hope it was worth it. Um, all right, we got everyone. So thank you, guys. And we will see you guys on Tuesday. Peace, Turtle Riders.